number of summers ago, it was in Mozi Shabbos in August, and I had a performance. It was Mozi Shabbos Nachmu concert. And like every year, right after Tisha B'Av, we go out from the morning and we, we go right into the music and, and try to lift our heads up high and reconnect with that, with the power of music, the power of Nagina. And I was performing in a certain venue and the night was such a struggle. I was basically begging the crowd to just stop schmoozing, stop talking, and just so that we could be together, that we could be one. I guess it was that, that really nasty feeling of, of, am I just an entertainer? That's what was really in my head and in my heart. And at a certain point, I just gave up. I just gave up at the crowd. I just started singing to myself. I started singing a certain song which just kind of flew out of my, my mouth, a song I never sang before. I didn't know what it was, but I, but I knew it. And I just started singing it over and over again until I remembered it. And as I was driving home, I remembered that this new song coming down, what it resembled to me was this new opening of, of it's got to be more than just you know, being an entertainer. There's got to be more to this whole story than just providing a music fix for people. What is this all about? What do I want to do with the gift that Hashem gave me? About four months after this concert, uh, we had the privilege of going out to Ukraine. We go to the Tzadikim, their hometowns and their burial spots, a bunch of us, and Baruch Hashem have an incredible experience there. And you spend a lot of time on the bus. The bus is crucial. Hours and hours on the bus. And as I grabbed the guitar, I remembered that song that came down a few months prior. In the bus, traveling from Medjibush, where the Baal Shem Tov is, to the town of Berdichev, where I believe Yitzchak of Berdichev is, is uh, buried. And their energy made me question certain questions that I was so happy to finally feel free enough to ask. Me, Ani, what am I about? I have all these titles, but who am I? Ma, Ani, what am I? Efo, Ani, where am I? And when we were on the plane, going back to Eretz Israel, going back home, I realized that the chorus had to continue with questions. And the questions are really the same questions, but now asking them to Hashem. Mi ata? Ma ata? Efo ata? Where are you? And that space to be able to question, to ask these questions, is so crucial for anyone that is committed to figuring out what God had in mind when He created them.